I could do another one of Dan's as opposed to the older one that the mold had wore out, I, I was glad to do it because not only is Dan a friend of mine for a long time, but so is Hank and Lori. So, and the mayor, she always impressed me, and I'm proud to say that three of those 90s, I was part of the responsibility when I was judging. So, uh, I was always glad to do it. So, uh, I, I thought it's a good combination and a little different than you see in a lot of bronc riding bronzes. And Dan's definitely doing what he did best. So, uh, I, I got to tell a quick story. First time I met Dan, I doubt if he can even remember. Tracy Mikes and I are judging the pro rodeo in Butte, Montana at the old arena down the middle of town. This kid pulls in, I mean, he's a little guy. He's got big black horn rim glasses on. And we, you know, uh, he, he comes out, he, he has one of Reg's big bay monsters. And this horse makes a nice circle around to the left and he peels the bark off of this horse. And so, and he's like 86 or 87, and that's back when you had to do it. And so Tracy and I are turning our sheets in for the bronc ride. And I said, you know that kid? No. <laughs> Neither one of us had ever seen him or heard of him. And so he comes out in the bull riding on one of Reg's newer bulls, uh, the commissioner. I don't think he'd been rode. I mean, he sticks it on him. He makes him like it. He's 90 points. So as he's getting his check, Tracy and I are in the rodeo office, and he comes to get his checks. And as he steps out, we step out with him, and, and uh, we congratulated him and, on what he just pulled off. And said, where are you headed? He named off two little amateur rodeos, and we both went, oh, you ride way too good to be going to those. You need to go where the money is. So Tracy